Okay, uh, REST programming in Spring MVC. So here we're going to talk about how you can perform CRUD-based operations by sending REST calls, meaning HTTP uh, calls. Uh, CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. Uh, we'll take a look at what tools you are going to use as a client. So uh, basically, we're going to use a call but you could use other client tools, including browser, in fact. Uh, we can actually uh, take a look at response body one more time, because as I said before, response body is used to create a response yourself, uh, and that is typically used when you are performing, you are handling a REST client request, okay? Because REST client typically wants to get the data. They don't care about the HTML, right? Okay. So we'll talk about response body one more time. We'll talk about the concept of uh, representations or format. Uh, so, you know, typically client has a preference in terms of uh, format uh, of the response it wants to receive. You know, it wants to receive the response data in the form of JSON or XML, uh, things like that. Uh, we'll talk about the concept of XML. So when a client needs to uh, receive the data, in when, you know, basically when the uh, Java object needs to be converted into XML, you have to in fact use uh, XML data binding technology such as JAXB. So that's what we are going to use to give an instruction to the uh, data binder, I mean the, um, in this case, uh, uh, Java object to XML converter in terms of how it can convert a Java object into XML uh, data. Uh, then we'll actually like talk about, we'll actually like see how create, update, and delete operation could be done. And then we are going to see uh, how we can use the REST controller annotation. Uh, and uh, then REST client using REST template. Uh, REST template is actually a class, a standalone Java library that you can use to, uh, uh, you know, to send the REST request uh, to your server. Now, Java community has its own uh, the uh, client library now, so that's probably something that you want to use instead of the REST the REST the template. Uh, REST template was actually provided by Spring community because at the time there was no standard REST client Java library. Now we do. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, I have uh, the uh, RESTful programming code camp uh, in uh, what when when is it? So jpassion.com, and uh, I think it's November. Uh, November. Uh, November 3rd and 4th. So this is today, so we're not going to be able to cover all the topics we have in mind, but this is a pretty intensive Java REST programming uh, code camp. Okay? So feel free to join this today code camp later on okay? in November. Okay, so moving forward. Uh, CRUD operations via REST call. So this is typically the convention people use for performing CRUD-based operations. Okay. So by combining the verb, meaning HTTP verb, whether that is a post, get, put, delete, patch, uh, and the noun, meaning the URL, noun form, uh, you can actually indicate what you want to do. So if you are using post and then collection URI, for example, uh, post and then slash songs, that means I'm actually adding a new song. So that's creating a new item. Okay. Uh, so combination of this verb, HTTP method, and the noun, meaning the uh, uh, URI, a pattern will determine what operation you want to perform. So this is for creating a brand new item. If you want to read the multiple items, then you are going to pass get request. You are going to send a get request with a collections URI. So if you say songs, Beatles slash songs, then you want to read all the songs of Beatles maybe. If you want to read a single item, then you are going to use get and then you provide entry URI. So you say Beatles slash songs slash number three. That means you want to read number three song of Beatles uh, collection. Uh, update, if you want to update the song, then you're going to use a put or patch. 
okay uh, then you provide uh, entry URI so if you say Beatles songs slash three then I want to update that song number three uh, with updated value okay uh, if you're using put uh, you have to actually provide a complete data of that entry if you're using patch then you can just patch a partial data okay we're gonna mostly focus on put in this code camp uh, delete is simple so you specify uh, delete operation uh, by uh, using delete HTTP method and then you provide entry URI, URI. so if you say delete and Beatles slash song slash three then you want to delete the song number three okay so this is the convention uh, that most people use to uh, perform CRUD based operations and you want to actually write code to honor this convention in your server-side code okay so client will actually use this annotation not annotation client this client will use any client will use this kind of convention to communicate with your server a restful server application so unless you actually follow this convention you know they are going to be confused okay okay moving forward so uh, this is another example so you know you could have in this case we have orders and customers right so the orders is something that I kind of talked about already so if you say get orders and get all orders if you say orders and post then you are submitting a brand new order orders and slash ID so this is the uh, you know uh, URI uh, sorry URI uh, entry URI pattern and uh, this is the uh, collection pattern so here you specify a particular entry ID so here order slash three if you call get then you're gonna get uh, all the detail information of that particular order number three put is updating that order delete is deleting that particular order now you know restful operations are typically uh, based on crud based operations like a create update and delete and uh, create read update and delete but you could also do uh, perform some kind of operation that are not really crud based operations for example I could say order slash average sale then you know I could actually take this average sale as an indication of computing average sale price for all the orders or something like that okay so rest is not just for crud based operations even though crud based operations are most popular uh, the uh, uh, the operational model for restful application. Uh, here, customers are same deal, uh, and the customers and customers less ID. Now, this is actually interesting though. So I could have, I could have a customers and custom ID and then orders. So what I mean by this is that give me all orders of customer number three. Okay, if I want to access order number three of the customer number four, then it's gonna be customer slash four slash orders and slash three. Okay, so by having this URL, uh, you can actually have a reasonably large number of large uh, percentage of the operations to be covered. Okay, and it is pretty simple. So that's the reason RESTful operations, RESTful uh, the uh, the uh, programming is quite popular as a choice of communication model okay rest tools so here we are talking about the client side tools and uh, you know browser can actually send only get mostly get operation uh, you could actually send a post as well because if you happen to have a form but in order to send the form you know in order to send the uh, post request you have to create a you know, put the form page as well so that's not really a simple thing to do so browser is used most browser is used mostly for performing get operation okay now we certainly want to actually send the different kinds of HTTP method post put delete head and options and patch and things like that so we need something more powerful client-side tool so call is a command line tool for sending and receiving rest requests and receiving responses okay uh, and you can perform all these operations get post put and delete and crawl uh, the head okay uh, postman is a cron plugin for sending and receiving uh, the uh, rest request and responses uh, it's more GUI based same thing with the rest client so rest client is a Java application and postman is a cron plugin but you can actually run it as a standalone application as well okay so these are the client side tools and we are going to mostly use call okay because uh, call is actually simple to use 
Okay, so exercise one is basically installation of the curl. Uh, so uh, for Mac and Linux, uh, curl comes with it. So in order to see whether you guys have a curl or not, all you have to do is just type curl and see whether it comes back with some kind of health uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, message. Okay, and if you don't see uh, these things, that means you need to install curl. So uh, we are going to uh, uh, so that is the installation of client call. Uh, if you want, you can install the Postman Chrome plugin. Uh, it's actually probably the most powerful tool uh, that is available at this point. Okay, uh, and uh, this is the uh, REST client is the uh, uh, Java application. So uh, you know you can you can um, you can get the call from this location. Uh, uh, again, uh, I, I believe uh, the uh, Mac and Linux it comes with it, so you don't really have to download it. But if you're using Windows, you have to download it and you know install it. Uh, this is a Postman. Uh, so Postman is uh, you know. So let me see if I have a Postman here. Uh, where do I have a Postman? Yeah, so I'm actually running Postman as the uh, standalone uh, post, uh, post, post. Yeah, here we go. Desktop application. So uh, once you install it as a Chrome plugin, it gives you an option to install it as a standalone application. Okay. Uh, and uh, then you know it basically give you um, you know so this is the URL and uh, you can actually select the uh, different uh, wow there are a lot of methods you can actually execute you can call then uh, you know you can set the headers and uh, then uh, it actually lets you save this uh, this uh, this command uh, so that you can click it later on and things like that so that is basically save operation so this is probably the most powerful uh, GUI based uh, rest the client okay so that is uh, postman and uh, the third one is uh, rest client uh, so I actually make the rest client yeah it's actually a job file okay so I made it available on my website okay so you just download it and uh, if you want to run this guy uh, basically all you have to do is just run uh, this way so let me just download it on my uh, lab files. So I'm going to go to uh, labs here and uh, once it's downloaded uh, you should be able to run it as a Java jar file. Okay, uh, It looks like it's about 15 megabyte. Yeah, alright. So uh, yeah, I'm going to just actually run it here. So I have actually a REST client batch file that actually run it in the right location. So uh, if you run it, then you're going to actually see this Java GUI application being displayed, and then uh, you can uh, the uh, yeah you can actually perform. You can select whatever, and you can uh, set the header. You can set the cookies, bodies, authentication, SSL, and then in order to send the request, you just click this guy, and the response will be received. And you can see the response in headers, response body, and test result, and things like that. So once you have an, uh, once you have a RESTful server up and running, we might actually try Postman and uh, the uh, the uh, REST client just to demonstrate. But mostly we are going to use uh, call. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you guys about five minutes to at least install call, and then we'll actually move on. Okay. All right. So let's see.